thanks for stopping by. When I first got into electronics back in the 1970s, it was in uh, the era of Heathkit, uh, Knight, Ico, where you could take and buy kits to take and assemble your own test gear or, or basically whatever you wanted. And that was most of the fun of the hobby was uh, buying the kits and assembling them. Now, sad to say, you know, all those companies are now defunct. But I still like to take and build things from kits. And I've wanted to take and build a power supply, but I, I like linear power supplies. I don't like the switch mode supplies because I do a lot of radio work, and the switch mode supplies generate a lot of hash. I was watching a video on YouTube from uh, Electronics Trivia by Steve Wagner, which sadly is not there anymore because Steve had health issues. And he was building a uh, two amp linear power supply, so I thought I'd take and give it a go. This is the kit he was using. It's, uh, I re believe Highland originally came out with it. Of course, the Chinese have cloned it. And it's a 0 to 28 volt adjustable constant current and constant voltage power supply with an LCD display. Uh, they give you all the basic components for assembling the board. And um, here's a picture of it uh, assembled. And here's another picture of it showing you the, the displays. Now to complete the project, you're going to need a few other components. You're going to need a heat sink. This particular one here is specifically made to mount on that board. It even has the hole drilled into it to mount the power transistor on it. And along with the heat sink, you're going to take and want a fan. Now there's a thermostat on the board that mounts on the heat sink to take and turn the fan on when it gets warm. The fan doesn't run constantly. You're also going to need a power transformer. Uh, the one I used is uh, this one here. It's a 2 amp, 24 volt transformer. And you're also going to take and need uh, an enclosure. And this enclosure here is the one Steve used and the one he printed up a, a, a front label for. Now these are pictures of how what my unit looks like. The first picture here is a picture of the inside. Um, everything that I've stated so far is in there, uh, plus on the front panel there's an on-off switch and a load on-off switch so you can take and cut the load. Uh, it's a tight fit but it all does fit in there. I drilled holes here in the top and in the bottom and in the back next to the IEC connector to provide uh, lots of ventilation. But it's rare that the fan even runs it. You know, I mean, if you're drawing a lot of current, you, you might take and turn it on, but otherwise it runs pretty cool. And this is a video of me using it. I'm charging up a uh, supercapacitor bank you can see it says OL because it's holding it at the uh, 200 milliamp uh, current limit. It'll take and charge it up to 16 volts and then hold it there. Well, that's about it. It's a good dependable power supply. I've been using it for close to three years now uh, without any problems. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and thanks for stopping by.